Hey guys, Blaze of Firewolf here. Uh, it's been a while, but you know, this is one week spending at Dad's. Just look at all the dimes. I counted already $6.90 in dimes. I've heard that they, you know, a lot of people lose them because they're smaller than a penny. Uh, that's probably true. This was one week uh, metal detecting Pacific Beach and Dog Beach back and forth, especially trying to do the grass at Dog Beach. Uh, not really anything old except for... I'll just show it right off the back. A 1955D Silver Roosevelt down two inches. Two inches down, sandy, behind a concrete area, you know, behind a concrete bench. That's my second silver, well, my second silver dime in quite a while. I think in almost a month. I can't complain with that. In better condition. It's much better condition than the other one, which was kind of in dry dirt. This dirt I dug where I found this is just sandy. I did try the La Jolla Cove, but just didn't, just got scrap instead of a uh, wheat penny. Not showing many. I'm kind of glad I don't have that many zinc pennies. Only 18 zinc pennies, 32 Lincolns. And this is because, you know, if they're colored like this, it's because I put them in vinegar to get the date off of them. I think that's a 71D. Get all the crust off of them. That's why I did that. Oldest one in there is a 60. Just a lot of them. 70s, 80, 80, 78, 81. There's a 63. 64. 69, 68, 69, 60. There's the 60. You know, that's 60 years old now. You know, a lot of these are made of copper. And these will survive. These will just rot in the dirt. In the sand. It's trash. But hey, I counted in total of clad. $9.60. $9.60. Nine clad nickels. I'm trying to figure out what numbers they come out. Sometimes it runs in the 40s. Sometimes it runs like a pull tab. I've dug up a few... That's all I found in one week, nine nickels, but I can't complain. I think I just need to focus on certain type of numbers. Like if it's down deep, it might be in the 70s. I might try to dig those type and see if they come out to be this or zinc penny or something else, but just nickel. Not many quarters, but seven quarters. They're all very bouncy. This was on the surface, Pacific Beach, just in the laying in the grass. I'll definitely add that to my toy, my bag of all the cars and toys and stuff. I can't bend this, I don't think, so I'm not sure. I'm sure it might be brass. Just scrap brass this rang up like a quarter it was down about three inches i think it's copper because i can bend it three keys one broken key one key that got hit by a mower and a fully intact key that was on the surface no writing on it this was on the surface at la jolla beach la jolla cove just sitting in the grass 
I decided to pick it up to know if it was metal or not. It is. It's cool. Just a salt. I think it's supposed to be like something to do with the Sandman because we got clouds, sparkles, sand. And it's all like in salt. I think that's a steel button. I'm not so sure because it's magnetic. Yeah, I do have a magnet that goes, you know, it, it sticks to it. Yeah. This is interesting. Um, Institute of the Iron Working Industry. I read the patent on date, which is 1937. I think you can read that. Not really sure if it is. No, it's not 1937. I'm sure not. But, you know, I have no idea on the age. But my guess is 80s. <laughs> At least older than me. It looks older than me anyways. <laughs> I got a 5 peso. I think that's about... 2 nickels? American... I couldn't even pick it up with the machine. My With my metal detector, that's a thing, you know. It can't really pick out any Mexican coin with this machine. So it just runs. It, and when I went over it with the machine, it just gave out a really bad signal. Eh. Here's the questionable items. Does anyone know what this could be? My guess is it's possible. This was like less than, I think, two inches, two or three inches down in some grass. This was Dog Beach. Both of these were in Dog Beach. Well, I'll say three, except these two were in the same hole. But I'll get to that. This, I think it might be part of a, a bracelet or something. It says, Peace and love if you guys have any you know ideas on what you know what it really might be off feel free to comment below i'm thinking my guess is it's part off of an old bracelet looks old because i don't think they do that anymore a copper bracelet i went to the footpath area like where it's all like dirt and grass and I found these two in the same hole. Can anyone identify this for me? This was down about roughly three inches. I think that's brass. I can't see it being bronze. Although if it is bronze, it's... I don't know. This is copper, believe it or not. Yeah, I can't really tell on how old it is, but... You know, I do think it is copper. This might be brass. These both were in the same hole, down about three inches in, like, some dry dirt. If anyone knows, has any ideas on what it could be, please comment below. This is not steel. This is copper. Put it over a magnet, and, yeah, it's definitely copper. It's not sticking. Neither is this. But yeah, that's it. I'm going to probably do more drawing videos. I'm not going to do any more detecting for maybe at least a few weeks until the weather improves. I'm hopeful that, fingers crossed, that I'm going to be, you know, going back to Regional Park one of these several weeks, maybe, or possibly... But if not, I'm going to head back to Dad's and find a bunch of dimes. <laughs> I'm more of a dime person all the way. Dime and penny. Not much of quarters. Several nickels, but yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like, uh, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.